Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this uh, topic, angles and plane figures. And for this particular lesson, we will be covering angles on a transversal. You want to see what a transversal is and how we calculate angles on a transversal or how we solve problems involving angles on a transversal. So we have a few questions on the same to help us with illustrations on what transversals are and uh, how to solve problems involving angles on a transversal. Of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll, have, we'll be having some a few questions in the form of assignment to help you practice on, on uh, what you're going to cover during this lesson. So uh, what, what we call a transversal is basically a straight line that cuts across two or more parallel lines. So if you, if you have parallel lines, this and this, and then you have a line that cuts across, it could be two or more. So long as we have parallel lines, and then we have a line crossing, cutting across them, then such a line is called a transversal. So the following angles are identifiable on a transversal. We have something called vertically opposite angles. Like maybe if I can illustrate in a different color, like these ones. Those ones, we call them vertically opposite angles. There is also this one here. We have this. And we have this one here. So if you have an X, you see this and this, you also have this and this. We call them vertically opposite angles. So every time you have a transversal, we have vertically opposite angles. They are identifiable, of course. Um, we have corresponding angles. Yeah. Uh, what you call corresponding angles. Uh -huh. So we could be having something like these are two parallel lines and then we have that transversal. This angle here and that, you can see facing the same side and you, you, the, 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 the two angles have similar characteristics above the line and the, above the lines and then on the right hand side of the transversal, you see. They, they call them corresponding angles. You also have, we, we also have this. Below the parallel lines, and on the on the right hand side of the transversal. You see? So those ones we call them corresponding angles. We also have this one. Below the lines, below the parallel lines, and on the left hand side of the transversal. So the, the, the angles are described more or less the same, you know. On the left hand side of the transversal and below the parallel lines. You know? And finally we have this. We also have this one and this. Those are also corresponding above the parallel lines and on the left hand side of the transversal. You see, call them corresponding angles. And then alternates. So we have vertically opposite corresponding and alternate angles. So how do you get alternate angles? So we have this. These are the two parallel lines, and then we have the transversal. So alternate, you draw something like a Z. Actually, alternate angles, we also call them Z angles. See that? So this angle here and that angle there. See? They form something like a Z, like a Z. Let me try get another one. We also have this. Then you move this way, then you move this way. An inverted Z, so that this angle here and that angle there. You see, that is now an inverted Z. So those are the ones we call alternate angles. Normally they are equal. So we say vertically opposite angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. And alternate angles are also equal. You see, 
So all, all vertically opposite angles equal, corresponding angles are equal. So if two angles happen to be vertically opposite to each other, they will definitely be equal. So that's something that you have to note about these angles. Alternate angles, corresponding angles, and vertically opposite angles, all of them are supposed to be equal. So I mean, if you have two angles that are vertically opposite to each other, the two will be equal. Two angles that are, let's say, A and B, and their corresponding angles, they'll be equal. Two angles, let's say, X and Y, they'll, they are alternate. They're supposed to be equal. So there is a good example here. So let's start with the uh, vertically opposite angles. Now that you have said they are equal, so let me start with vertically opposite angles. So vertically opposite angles. So we have M equal to L. N is equals to H. I equal to J. And H is equals to 105 degrees. Those are vertically opposite angles. Those are vertically opposite angles. Then we have uh, corresponding angles. These are the angles that we said you can describe them more or less the same way. So corresponding angles. We have like N equals to I. L is equals to 105. Yeah. M is equals to H. Which one else? H is equal to J. So we have IJ. So this is K. Is this letter here that is not very clear. This letter is letter K. So K and uh, so this is letter K. So K equals to N. Reason? Every time you are finding the values of angles, you should always be giving reason. So if you say N is equals to K, then the reason you'll give the vertically opposite angles. Also, if you say K is equals to J, you know, K is equals to J, what reason will you give? There are corresponding angles. N is equals to, so N is equals to I. What is the reason? They are vertically opposite. I mean, they are corresponding angles. M and H, L and 105, and so on and so forth. You see. And finally, we have alternate angles. So we have alternate angles. They are also equal. So alternate angles. We have N and J. Reason why is n equal to j is because they are alternate angles. We have m and 105. Yeah. That is the inverted z. So that is how you go about it. So from here you'll be able to find the angles. Like this one here is 105. Yeah. M here is 105 degrees. This is 105 degrees. Then previously we talked about angles in a straight line, so this is 75 degrees. 
this is also 75 degrees alternate angles this is 75 degrees it alternates the 75 at n alternates with j so they are equal vertically opposite see and we have all the angles so you, those are the angles that we are looking for so i've used only the three properties alternate angles vertically opposite angles yes and corresponding angles and i have all my angles obtained same applies to this so this is uh 30 degrees this this is this is also 30 degrees vertically opposite 30 degrees this is 150 angles in a straight line 150 here yeah this is also 30 because this is 30 this is 150 corresponds to a here and this is also 150 vertically opposite so you see the three properties can be used at the same time to help you find the angles so you can uh, try and apply the properties to help you answer these questions that are displayed on the screen when it uh, soon as possible for you otherwise that marks the end of the lesson until next time goodbye